Movie Sucktastic is a podcast about bad movies and the people that love them. But it's more than just a podcast. It's an, also an online presence. If you want to know more about Movie Sucktastic or want to become a part of Movie Sucktastic, you can find us on Facebook. You can find us on Twitter at Movie Sucktastic. You can find our blog at boothreviews.blogspot.com. Or if you want to give your own reviews that we might use on the show, you can go to reviews.moviesucktastic.com and check out our, our own little lunch.com community for Movie Sucktastic. Check us out and become a part of the show because the only thing more fun than a bad movie is sharing it. You are listening to Movie Sucktastic. Welcome everyone to Movie Sucktastic. If if the opening didn't clue you in, if it didn't clue you in, you got problems. Oh yeah, definitely. Uh, welcome, welcome. Um, we are reviewing. <laughs> what, what, are, what are we reviewing, Joey? I win. <laughs> we are reviewing the 1988 uh, horror film Slugs. Based on the novel by Sean Hudson. Yes. Which I just bought on Kindle and I plan on reading very, very shortly. Uh, I didn't get to it before the show, but uh, I have a feeling it's vastly different. I, I was going to say, I, I, I was going to ask if it was one of the novels you had previously written or, or written, that I had uh, read. No, I, I wrote this, yeah, yeah. You wrote it. That's right. Oh, yeah, that's I right. I feel bad for you. <laughs> I mean, actually, actually, I, w- I was watching this with uh, Holly, and she turned to me halfway through. Or no, she, when I mentioned, oh, I didn't know it was based on a book. She turned to me and said, and, "And you're not published yet because <laughs> I was like, I was like, I am published, but I don't have a book out per se, uh, not yeah. a novel. But uh, thank you, dear, for Th- thank you, know, you, yeah, for the twi- support. twisting that knife. Yeah, no, that's <laughs> very, very much. Thank you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, <laughs> well, well, I, and I'm watching the movie, and I'm just hearing some of the dialogue and i'm just saying there's no fucking way this is in the book <laughs> and if it is in the book it is vastly more intelligent oh well we'll we'll, we'll get to the dialogue in a short while i mean uh, there, there are scenes where they're talking and i'm just like oh like it's jumping ahead but one of the scenes that i thoroughly enjoyed is when um he uh what's his face uh, Weber or whatever his name is is trying to make that deal. Then they go to dinner at mm-hmm. uh, Trombinos. 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 Oh, I love the Italian chef. It's you know what? Probably a real Italian person because he's nailing all of those accents. <laughs> <laughs> it sounded like my parents' kitchen. It's the only accent in the film that made any sense. Yeah. Uh, well, the worms. Well, Nobody's got a worms around here. If he got a worms, well, you already had him in his head. I don't know. I don't want them in my, in my pasta. I'm under there. Hey. But then they go um, to the mayor's office to finish the deal. Yeah. Right? I know I'm jumping ahead, but I got to get it out before I forget about it. So they're going to make that deal, and there's the two people that were going to make the deal, but the mayor is now going to complete it. Mm-hmm. So then uh, the health inspector for the town, the main character of the film, he comes running in. He goes, listen, you got to turn off the water on the south side of the city. 
It's this like, was no boating accident. <laughs> yeah. And he's like, I'm not going to do that. And he's like, we got nothing to hide. We don't have slugs in our water. And he takes the two business people into the bathroom and he turns on the water and no slugs come out. And he's yeah. like, how about we finish making that deal? And the guy's like, yeah, let's do that. And then, oh, the whole time I'm thinking, it's like, yeah, I read Art of the Deal. Let's do it. It's like, this is a horrible decision. <laughs> horrible. I, I can see Trump doing that, though. Like, <laughs> we don't have any poison in the water. Look. See? Look at the water. <laughs> it's clean. Hey. hey we going to sign that. this deal or what? Yeah, this is so Come on, clean. Kim. I'll drink the, the water from the bathroom. <laughs> like, it matters where you get water in your house from. <laughs> I bet if if there was a poll and it was asked, do, would you drink water from your bathroom sink over your kitchen sink? Everyone would say the kitchen for some reason, because. I what, it, it, eh. Anyway. Anyway, so the film Slugs. Slugs. Uh, <laughs> Slugs uh, takes place in Wayne, uh, New York, where it was actually partially filmed. Uh, this is not a Spanish film, but it is a Spanish production. Uh, yeah, uh, during the slideshow, I have a bunch of uh, Spanish movie posters that yeah, I was the, able the, to find. The film ha was the, the two locations for filming were Wayne, New York, and Madrid, Spain. Uh, in case what you scenes know did they film in Spain? I don't know. Probably indoor scenes. What? Why would they spend any kind of budget to do that? Because that's where they're based out of. You go on location for certain stuff, you do the other stuff somewhere else. It doesn't make any sense. This film had a fucking micro budget. And they're flying to Spain. No, no, no. They're, they're flying to America to film some, certain scenes. I'm saying the production company's... Ba the, the writer slash director is J.P. Uh, Juan P. Clear Simone or J.P. Simon. Okay. Okay? The writers were Jose Antonio Escriva, Ron Gantman. If you, if you catch... There's, there's a Spanish theme going right, through but here you said some there, of the yeah. filming locations were in madrid yes what? because they're probably based out of madrid they came to they didn't fly to america to, uh, they didn't fly to madrid to shoot stuff they flew to america to shoot stuff i i don't okay i mean the, all the actors are american as far as i can right. see uh no they're not that's why half of them are dubbed horribly <laughs> that's that's why that's why the scientist has a british accent Yes. Yeah, where did you find these? <laughs> what did you find it? I and I can't do a British accent, so. But yeah, no, no. The the very few of the characters are are not dubbed in this film, and that's because they have Spanish accents that's dubbed for the, you know, the American audience. Got it. Uh, so keep that in mind when you're watching the film. Well, a lot of the voices don't belong to the people. The some ones that do. I got to be don't honest. Don't belong to people. I, yeah. I, I assume that some shit was dubbed because they had no fucking budget and they had probably shitty sound. And Possibly like, shit, too, we got to do this later because very uh, common in the seventies and eighties, sir, yeah. to to dub over accents. Oh, I know that. Okay, I know that. All right, I didn't, I didn't for one second think, oh, that person must be must have an accent or speaks a different language, and they dubbed over it. I just assumed because of how poorly the movie is made that it was a poor budget, mm -hmm. and that. Their sound uh, was bad in a lot of scenes. Why can't and, it be both? Well, I guess it could be both. Yeah, it could. Yeah, I guess it Why could. Why are you arguing? Why are you going to argue? I'm not, I don't want to argue. Why are you going to argue? I love you, man. Anyway. 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 Take a shot. Multiple shots. The film was shot in Madrid and in Wayne, New York. That's all I had to say. That's all. That's it. So, because again, the Spanish I think part of the Spanish production ha is the reason for some of the awkward dialogue. Um, yeah, what happened? My my favorite one is uh, in, at the Halloween party, which it was basically just a bunch of cars parked with pumpkins on them. Uh, yeah, and, again, uh, a, a a huge factor to no budget. Right, and <laughs> well, they, I'm getting. They mentioned like one time, like. The one time that it's Halloween or it's close to Halloween. Or actually, I think they mention it near the end where it says today is Halloween. Well, they had to. They're going to a Halloween party. Well, the one girl is like, I'm not a, I'm not appropriately dressed for this. <laughs> and it, and no one like, is. She makes a huge big deal about it. So I, this is a Halloween party. I'm not appropriately dressed for this. And then they show everyone dancing. Well, like, she, like very 
white people dancing, by the way, and yeah. no one is wearing well, the, a costume. Well, they're white. They're white people, of course. And she she didn't have time to make a big deal out of it because the the because the guy with the pizza came up said, "Eat the pizza." Sure, the pizza. I don't want the pizza. Eat the pizza. <laughs> oh shit! It's a uh, it's a Halloween party, and the only person that brought a mask was the rapist, who of course probably always carries that mask around. Yeah. Does yeah, it's his raping mask. Yeah, price. But we're getting gorgeous. ahead of ourselves. We are getting ahead of ourselves. All right, the movie takes place in Wayne, New York, yeah. on a nice dark night. Some free spirited kids try to run a uh, an alcoholic guy with his dog off the road. Yeah. He goes into his, his condemned house, sits on his couch, and is eaten alive by slugs. Fast forward next day. <laughs> well, actually, the same night. So, yeah, and so our, our main character is, uh, he's the head of the um, sanitation. Health, de- health department. Health department. The health yep. department. And he has a friend that does, uh, is, um, does uh, real estate deals, and he has a friend who's with sanitation. That's right. Uh, Don they, they, Palmer. Yes, they they meet uh, at this uh, restaurant every uh, like like I'm saying like on a, every weeknights occasionally yep. to be to to be embarrassed by their wives. Mostly uh, his friend's wife, who looks like the um, the Mac the knife. Uh, uh, remember the McDonald's Mac the knife commercial where the guy's yeah, head is think... shaped like a moon. I didn't see that at all. I don't know what you're talking about. He's got this weird oblong shaped face. Oh, the guy with the high cheekbones. Yeah, the girl, his wife, where she's her face and her chin like never ends. The alcoholic. The alcoholic. I I didn't get that at all. I didn't think she had a moon face. Look at her face next time. Look how long that chin is. I didn't see anything wrong with the face. That is a long chin. The only thing I saw wrong was the face was she was shoving alcohol in it every chance she got, (laughs) which I I should actually I'm not really a hundred percent against. You know there. Thank There's you. the alcohol, the alcoholic, the school teacher, and uh, the other guy's mother. Right, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. Who? When, when she that comes on, when she comes on screen, I'm like, that's his wife. Holy shit! Yeah. Oh, hey. <laughs> it's like you. It's like you just grabbed her off the street. Hey, you want to be in a movie? We 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 can't. We need someone last second. What's that? Sure. A June December? What's that called? <laughs> uh, yeah. First quarter, um, fourth quarter. Um. And uh, later on in the film, she's like, you know, I think I have a drinking problem. I think I should get help for it. And he's like, do you mean it? And she's like, I don't (laughs) want to lose you. (laughs) And then (laughs) next scene. (laughs) But why don't I just start drinking, honey? I'll meet you in the middle. There you go. Come on. Yeah. If I start start drinking, then there's less for you to drink. And she wasn't bad. I mean, they started off the beginning uh, with, with the guy that drank it. Like, you know, he was living in his own filth. That's a that's an alcoholic. She she just was cut taking the edge off. She's a lush. And she, that's it. Stay at home wife. Come on, let her have a couple of drinks. Jeez, very sexist movie. Very sexist movie. Well, it was it's the eighties. Um, so the, the the plot is that there are um, a lot of the plot is basically the plot of Chud. Uh, for yeah, for the most part, this, yeah. This is this is pretty much Chud, but with less homeless people and mutants and more slugs. Yeah, Chud, uh, uh, Chud came out in 84, so this is mm-hmm. four years later. Plenty of time to rip it off. Well, the, now, again, when the, the book, book come out? I'm going to double-check that now. I, I just bought it, so it should be in my uh, purchase queue. Um, so, but, so basically, when you, you, don't, you don't find out until the third act, but... Oh, or, yeah, you know, the uh, why the slugs are. But, but there, yeah, there, there's obviously with, with most, uh, most uh, suburban towns in the 80s, it was a nuclear dump site. <laughs> or a toxic waste dump site in like the 50s and 60s, and they solved the problem by paving over it. Chemicals started leaching into the system, turned the the slugs into giant flesh eaters. <laughs> See what the, the the slug bites them? <laughs> I, uh, yeah, I have a, I have a pretty good shot of that in the slideshow. <laughs> it's a great shot. Uh, so, and the man eaters. They eat, they eat people. They come up through the toilets and they come out of the sinks. And uh, occasionally they get into your salads. He's not man not good. Eater, man eater. Yeah. So uh, and then um, so the whole film basically uh, our our hero of the film, which is uh, Mike Brady, he spends half the film getting phone calls at locations, rushing to those locations, and then getting phone calls there for him to rush to a different location. Everybody knows where this guy is. Everybody's calling him and telling him he has to be somewhere else. Yeah. Right. It's I. This it, film is the reason they invented mobile phones. <laughs> it's just like I can't do this. We, they could have they could have solved this whole thing in like a in like you know a couple hours if everybody had cell phones. Yeah. 
fucking eighty sucks. Uh, the, the book came out in nineteen eighty two. Uh, Eighty two. You beat UK. Me. So Sean. Hudson oh, he's a British author. He's a yeah. British author. Yeah, he's he's apparently like um, he's a very he's a. It, it, in the Amazon, I was like, one of the greatest horror writers of the British. Ah, I've never heard of him before, so I wouldn't go that far. <laughs> I've heard of some British authors. I haven't heard of him. But uh, I got it. Got it. It's like 200 pages. Not that well, bad. Well, here's I the thing. He wrote it in 1982. He was born in 58. Yeah. He was only 24 years old. It's, it's only a 200-page book. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's a novella. Jesus. Yeah. That's not, it's nothing. That's it ain't the stand. Come on, it ain't let's, let's, let's nothing get crazy here, dude. Nothing is the fucking stand. And 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 this ain't lawnmower man. So no, let's no. go easy on it. What, um, else, what else has he written? Oh, a bunch of stuff. Nothing that you'd recognize. I'm just seeing if anything else was adapted into a film. I I didn't have the. That would be an IMDb kind of look. I can check that out real quick. I've, I've got my page up. I did, for some reason I didn't think to check for that. The Terminator. Uh, yeah, not. Uh, Apparently uh, he wrote the Terminator, which was adapted into no. the movie by James. It, I'm looking at it. I put my uh, cursor over the link. It's a picture of the movie poster. No, I, I'm on Sean Houston, filmography writer, and there's nothing it's he wrote. Got, he's got to have something that was written that was called the Terminator that they're just confusing. Yeah, definitely because he didn't. No, the only writing the only writing credits he's got uh, in IMDb is uh, he was a consultant on a film called Monster. Uh, the movie Slugs and a TV show called End of the Story. Monster is that the one with Charlize Theron or a different monster? No, totally different one. Is that the one from 2010? Um, oh, that's Monsters. Never mind. No, there's that. Uh, this is one coming out actually in 2018. Oh, supposedly May All 2018. Right. So I don't know what happened to it. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, he. You know what? If any of this is good, I wouldn't know. I've never heard of any of it. Well, it's a British author. Yeah, we haven't heard. But that's what I'm saying. So let's not. And and slugs ain't making the rounds. As but like even a lost the UK plastic. hasn't made his shit into anything. Right. <laughs> that's okay. There are a lot. There are a lot of really popular British writers who haven't had anything made into a film. Right. You know, Rankin is a very popular author. None, none of his books are movies that I know of. Uh, but we're getting ahead of ourselves. We're getting way ahead of ourselves. Um, now, the film opens up to probably one of the most anticlimactic horror openings I've ever seen. The opening of the film opens up oh, to a, bo a body of water. A body of water that's just bubbling. Two people on a boat. The, the woman on the boat is telling the guy on the boat, I can't believe we're actually fishing. When you said fishing, I didn't think you meant it. And he's like, come on, of course I meant it. Falls in the water, more water bubbling, turns to uh, red. Hold on, you skipped the part where she shows her panties. That's not really important. It really is. It really isn't. It, that's Why do you think that scene was shot on a boat? Yeah, well, you know what? If it was done correctly, she would have taken her shirt off, too. Well, All still, right. the, the, they, they were about to. They, missed, they showed her the, panties. They, missed they showed the, her panties. The, the golden... 80s opportunity of nudity in the first five fucking minutes. They were they were probably aiming for TV release or video release. Anyway, it I I had I had it was a theatrical release, so I don't know what the fuck they I, were doing. I have to argue with you when you say that her showing the panties is not important. It is very important it's to not the important. scene. It is very important to the then scene. Then he falls in the water, water bubbles yes. over, turns red, end scene. That was pretty climactic. There was red. There was blood on the water, dude. And, a and actually, it Stop. was a boating accident. I was wrong. <laughs> Shit. This was no boating accident. Um, but yeah, you, 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 think the, the, you think it would you know, get started off with a bang, and it's just really it bad. It was a bang. I fell in the water, and he got eaten. Um, what, what do you, you don't what do you want? see Fireworks? anything. You just see well, you, you water. start off slow. You got to build up. Slow you, you, my you ass. Can't, you, you, can't start with, you can't start with a flood of electrified... Uh, uh, slugs sliding down a chute. You got to save that for the climax. Uh, there are no. actually some very good shots in this film, and I think the opening was one of them. No. Yes. No. Yes. No. Yes. No, dude. There anyway, are, there are not many <laughs> scenes in this that that are good. I do like the farmer or the guy chopping his own hand off, just because yeah. the, the pain that he. Ah! <laughs> Couple problems with that. All right. Yeah, this is one of the early scenes when we're leading up to the to the uh, mm. slug massacre. 
when the guy the guy's wife complains about finding uh, slug eggs, uh, which are quite large, on her plants and tells him to get rid of them. Couple th- couple things that could have avoided the disaster that took place. One, you probably don't want to store your bottles of sulfuric acid in your garden shed on the edge of the garden table. Yep. Yep. Bad place for them. Totally. Also, probably don't want to store your your um, canisters of gasoline in the gardening shed as well. <laughs> and if you do get something in your glove that's hurting you, you probably don't want to leap right to cutting your hand off. I think there's a couple, I think he skipped a couple levels from, oh, this is biting me and I can't get my glove off to, I need to t- sever my hand from my body. Exactly. Um, worst Not case a- scenario, you, you know, I, I don't know. You, you just let it start. If it eats enough of your hand, the glove should just come right off. All right, let's 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 calm down here. Let me slow down. Lean down. Oh, oh, I almost cut my hand off. We, let me we take a couple breaths. We should do some audio commentary for this one. I think we could do something I, real special with this. I really think we could. I think we got to get together and just do that. I, I tell you, I, it may seem hacky, but every time he ran into a room that demands something, I was like the first thing my head said, this is no boating accident. <laughs> Soylent Green is made from slugs. Slugs? Soylent Green is made uh, yeah. from slugs. Half of the film is being called the places. The other half is bursting and unannounced, although uh, the one scene where he bursts into the water, uh, the, the, the water supply company's oh, right. office i like the he they mess he messed up his line says because he walks he goes tell him that i'm here to see him and <laughs> she's like what and he says the hell i can't and then she's like, you can't go in there like, wait a minute <laughs> it's like that's fine we're not doing this take again just keep going this is 40 times you've gotten it wrong so we're keeping yeah. it <laughs> but so, I, it's like, do you think we have a real budget because we don't we can't waste this much real <laughs> you talk about lines my favorite line is when he tells the water guy that he's got to shut everything down is that i'll take the response I'll, I'll take the uh i'll take the blame for it he say you don't have the authority to uh was it you don't have the authority to call for for uh yoda you don't have the authority to declare happy birthday <laughs> did i mention it was my birthday no no one has. You need permission from the mayor, and then I need to concur. I'm sitting here eating my lunch alone on my birthday, and you wanted me to shut the water off. <laughs> oh, he's dead. It was his birthday. There, there's some really, I mean, hilarious lines, but they're terribly written. Oh, at the, at the Halloween at the Halloween rape party, uh, there's that one <laughs> where the kid comes back with from Beth. Poor Beth. Poor. Beth. No, Pam. Pam. Poor, Poor Pam. Pam. Where I felt, I was like, "Hey, Pam! Pam was a good girl. Pam was a good girl. That's no fate for Pam." That's so terrible for her. Animal. Um, <laughs> but uh, um, when the kid comes back uh, and lets him know that ah, Pam wouldn't put out or whatever, the guy says, "You know, you're an asshole. All, all, all the, all the way to the steerage. All the way to the steerage." I was like, "What does he mean?" And, and then Holly's the one that, like, it clicks. Says, I think it has something to do with being a first-class asshole. It's like, okay, yeah, I can see that. There could be a variation of, uh, if it's from first class to steerage, all the way to steerage. Uh, you know, uh, you know you're know, you an asshole all the way. But you left out the important part, which was the reference to first class. <laughs> so all we got, I thought it was a car reference. I was completely lost. Ho- you know- Holly... Holly latched onto the series thing. Yeah, I think it's about being a first class asshole. Very weird line. I think it works better the way it is. How hard would it have been to just to to just copy huge sections of the book and just convert them into dialogue for a movie? Uh, I bet there's plenty of real dialogue in the book that they could well, have just used. I'm gonna find out, and we'll do an update if, if I find out that we're wrong. Well, you know, I I doubt it because this guy has a lot of books published. I can't see him having a lot of books published if this is his level of dialogue. Uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> but it, it it just some of the lines in the film are just so poorly done. There's just no way it was like that in the book. There's mm-hmm. just no way it was like that in the book. Well, it's not and, a good. Well, I don't know if it's a good book or not, but I'm no, no, it's you. a good movie. It's oh, good it's movie. a terrible movie. Yeah. But it. Listen, if I was uh, scripted to write a book and I had never written one or I don't think my dialogue is that good, you bet your ass I'm copying and pasting or at this time uh, just retyping word for word dialogue. Favorite civilian in the book, in the movie. 
Favorite civilian? Well, per, well, I'd say person. Who? I got to go with the sheriff. <laughs> and why does he hate his deputy so much? I don't. What why are you looking, looking at, at me, me? for? I kick you in the ass so hard out that he's a tow truck to get my foot out. Like, <laughs> Dude, I'm just taking pictures. And then, what uh, the, what, the, then what the health I inspector, do? ironically, starts smoking a cigarette in the car and then asks permission. You don't yeah. mind if I smoke, do you? Uh, I do mind. You better, <laughs> yeah. uh, you might want to destroy your lungs, but not mine, son. <laughs> I, I thought after he threw the cigarette out, he was like, just laid another one up. <laughs> just. Yeah. I thought you said I could smoke. Yeah, I thought you said that. <laughs> no, I never said that. Uh, I, you know, and... and um, I'm trying to find it here in the in the in the IMDb credits. I didn't write it down when the film was playing. Right. Uh, it had it had a, where it got its slugs from. Did you see that? A oh, where they got them from? Yeah. What they used for the film. Uh huh. That was probably Europe. Those are large slugs. No, 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 no. There was a specific credit that I, I've got to find. Uh, but oh, I'll, I'll right. get to that in a second. But I'll find it. Uh. <sighs> Man, I mean, just there's a lot of slugs eating people in this. A lot of heads exploding. Uh, apparently, slugs are not only dangerous eating, but also if you eat them. Uh, yeah, like if they're in your salad. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, that's not uh, good. I, I don't know how you don't taste the slug in the salad. Uh, yeah. I know. I don't care if there's anchovies in it. That's a slug. <laughs> that's that's a spicy meatball. I had um, a salad that had a stink bug in it one time. Did you Did you taste it? Dude, my head was on fire. Uh, apparently, and I did a little bit of homework because I om- almost ate this thing. Apparently, uh-huh. one of the reasons why their um, uh, one of their names is stink bugs is because when a predator tries to eat them, they give off a horrendous smell, and then you immediately back off. And you were the predator. I uh, yeah. Well, it was already dead. So I take a bite out of this thing, and you just, you you hope it was already dead. It, it was already it was dead. already dead. No, it wasn't. keep telling yourself that it wasn't already dead. Uh, well, when I spit it out, it wasn't still twitching, so I'm pretty sure it was dead. So anyway, the the only thing I can equate to what a stink bug tastes like is if you shoved a bunch of potpourri in your mouth and started to chew on that. Who hasn't done that? It was so fucking bad. So bad. Um, yeah, pretty bad. So, yeah, you you could <laughs> definitely tell if there's anything so I, foreign in your salad. So I think the least likely, the least plausible part of this whole film is the guy is the uh, businessman eating the salad and not saying, hey, honey, are there slugs in this? <laughs> yeah, there's some very salty and... Just kind of squishy in here. And slugs aren't salty. If they were salty, pouring salt on them wouldn't hurt, kill them. <laughs> well, they they're are, the opposite of salty. Yeah, they're made. They're mostly uh, water. Yeah, salt is their opposite. That's why it kills them. <laughs> <laughs> it's, that's 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 slug one hundred and one. Yeah, slugs if, slugs do not equal salt. Yeah, if you well put, known, put a well dro- known. If you put a drop of salt on one, they it's like you just burn them. Hmm. So, I I don't know why this didn't flood the sewer with salt. They got all fancy and shit. It's like, oh, we're gonna make this uh, acid. This will react with this slug immediately. They're, they're using lithium. Li- lithium. Yeah. It, it's like you just have lithium lying around. Well, I I do. I don't know about you, but <laughs> I got a whole garage full of it. But just don't tell <laughs> anyone. Oh, here it is. Here it is. Let me pause. In the credits near the end, right above catering. <laughs> Is li- live slugs provided by the city of Terramundi? Is that in Spain? I don't. Where it doesn't is matter. Terramundi. It doesn't matter where it is. The city of Terramundi. Supply- live slugs are provided by not by like a like an insect uh, trainer or by like right. a bait company. The city of Terramundi. <laughs> you know who has a lot of slugs? Terramundi. I bet they won't mind if we take some off their hands. It's in Madrid. <laughs> well. Th- I told you the thing was filmed in Madrid. Oh my god! Are they are they known for their slugs? That's what I want to know. I I'm gonna I'm gonna put Terra Mundi. Terra Mundi slugs. Slugs. Yeah. I want to see what happens here. How to deal with slugs in the garden? 
Sl- slug guns and rifles. No, I got a whole different thing. Oh, it was last edited by someone named Terramundi. <laughs> I spelled Terramundi wrong, so that's part of my problem. Mm. There's only one R in Terramundi. Yeah, I'm not getting any hits for that. Uh, try, Can't say try, that I'm surprised. You know what? Uh, hold on. Madrid Terramundi slugs. Spanish slugs. Only way to get rid of Spanish slugs. A lot of things about hot shotguns, though. Shotguns, huh? Yeah. Spanish cannibal slugs invade Britain. Oh, my. Do, do they eat anyone? Well, if they're cannibal slugs, that means they eat other slugs. So it's not really a big danger. They'll take care of, The problem will take care of itself. Aha. Uh-huh. Well, I guess that's true. Yeah. Hmm. This is from 2015, so this wasn't um, to promote the film. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Um, oh, Jesus. Yeah, I got 28 fucking ads here. Thank you, uh, whatever fucking rag. Dailymail.com. Fuck you. Did you see the, new thing? That- you knew, see the new thing that uh, uh, that they're doing uh, on YouTube and around the Internet? Um, they play a video. Well, not YouTube, but, but just about everyone else. If you're, if you're watching a video, uh-huh. they'll, they'll, they, they time the advertisement now. Instead of just showing you an advertisement right in the beginning... Yeah, they'll start, the time. they'll start the video, and then you'll get to a part of the video where it says, okay, now we're going to reveal a little whatever, and then it'll say advertisement starting in three, two, one, and then it'll play a commercial. Yeah. Basically, it's like... In the middle of the YouTube video. Yeah, yeah. This, yeah. No, 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 no. It's, it's different than what YouTube does, because YouTube will do it in the beginning, and then sometimes they'll do it in the middle. These other sites are purposely doing it almost like as if it's like we're going to commercial. Yeah, and it's, we know it's, you're going to stick around. Yeah, it's advertising. It's everywhere. It's fucking. Dis- it's terrible. Well, yeah. I, I I actually get so disgusted I stop watching, which is the complete opposite of what they're trying to accomplish. Uh huh. I just get mad. I'm like, I'm not going to watch this. I okay. Was, I was almost interested, and in, now I'm just not going to watch it. I, I don't know how we got off of slugs onto that, but uh, uh, uh well, anyway. Anyway, uh, yeah, the, so, the slugs do eat each other, so they're not the killer slugs from this film. They are not. And they have video of them. Uh, they're, they're, oh, yeah, slugs are disgusting. <laughs> they really uh, are. They serve yeah, almost no I'll, purpose. I'll, I'll say this film definitely has more um, validity to it than, say, uh, Squirm, about the killer worms. Oh, right. You know, especially with that little that cute little slug with the teeth. Yeah. 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 I want that. I want that on my dashboard. <laughs> And and this is the uh, slugs has to have some of the best parents guide notes on IMDb I've ever read. Really, my, fa- my favorite has to be. All right, I'm going um, to it so I can look at what you're looking at. Parents uh, guide, parents guide. Yeah. Where now, is sex, the parents guide? It's up near the top, du- right? Sex and nudity is nothing. Uh, violence and gore. Uh, the first one is some blood comes to the surface. You left out some. I know what they mean, but they left out some details. That's kind of vague. But I'm I'm gonna skip most of it. My favorite one is, a slug t- attacks a hamster. <laughs> yeah. Oh, That's this it. person That's says it. would make a perfect double feature paired with Squirm. No, no, because I think Squirm is far inferior to this. And this, and honestly, compared to Squirm, there's a lot of action in this film. A lot of running back and forth. Squirm is this, you know, there's a lot of slow lagging parts. A lot of weird southern. Hospit- uh, pseudo hospitality going on. I don't know. It's not kind to the Southerners. It really isn't. That's is very, very uh, culturally um, insensitive film. I-, I like the guy with profanity. Fuck shit, bastard, damn bitch, ass, hell, Jesus, oh my God, are all said at least once. <laughs> well, yeah, you just said them. I'm actually surprised that they didn't pussy out and put like asterisks in uh, some of these swears. I'm surprised they didn't. What's the, you know, is it <laughs> alcohol, drugs, and smoking? A man drinks some alcohol. Some people smoke cigarettes. <laughs> what under alcohol, drugs, and smoking? Just put yes. <laughs> I don't know. It's getting a little, get a little silly. Joey, the slug attacks could be frightening to some viewers. They could. They could. That is factual. Joey, yes. A slug attacks a hamster. Good. I mean, I mean, that's terrible. But did it happen at, uh, what was the name of the Italian restaurant? Trombino's. 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 
love this shit. Hey. Hello. Hello, worms and my bolas. What are you talking about? Uh, there's hey, no, there's uh, no worms in my, my, my food. Uh, uh, the uh, worms that hey, came uh, in uh, here uh, with the worms. I, I don't know what you're talking uh, about. I don't know what's in my kitchen. Well, did the worms come from the food? I don't know. I just got here. You want to give me five minutes? Fine. You take five minutes. Why are we arguing, Chief? Why are we always arguing? I don't know. But the worms, they didn't come from my kitchen. They're not in my food. Hey, you hey. fucking well, it's, like, it's like when he bursts into the mayor's office and interrupts that deal. Again, this was no boating accident. Um, I like at the end where like the, the secretary's got her arms crossed when like they tell him to leave. And he walks by her, like looks at her. And I'm like, you're a fucking secretary. What do you give me attitude for? <laughs> Get someone coffee and shut up. When he tells uh, when he tells his secretary to get uh, Don Palmer on the phone, he's oh, like, yeah. uh, go ahead and get me Don Palmer on the phone. And she's like, literally, there isn't enough time for her to, to have him get mad at her. But nah, he's she like, was ignoring him. She was like, just doing hello. Like hey. I said, get Don Palmer on the phone. Oh, what do you got? No, that's a, don't bite my head off. All I'll right, don't bite, bite my head, head off. off. I'll bite your head off. I'll bite your head off. <laughs> <laughs> I like it when he is talking to Don Palmer about the lithium idea. And Don is like, are you sure you want to take a, a, a product that uh, combusts and explodes when it hits water down into the sewer system? And he's like, you know, it's it, it might just work. All right, I'm in. It's like, what? That, was, that wasn't my question. <laughs> I was, are you sure... You want to do this? Are you sure you want to do this? He goes, it just might work. All right, <laughs> I'm in. Let's do, let's do it. It's like, wow, that's they're, that's, that's your planning. They're having two different conversations again. The, the, there's a little, there's a disconnect in the in the, whether it's the translation, the dialogue writing, uh, the actors not doing a good job in conveying. <laughs> yeah, very poorly. poorly Everybody is either with him or they're a complete fucking hard ass. Right. Is a, and, and let's not forget too. Every every he's the only guy that we meet in the beginning of this film that survives the film. Spoiler alert. Spoiler. <laughs> I like when his friend get, falls in the pit. <laughs> and before he tells his wife, you know, when I come back, how about we get naked and get crazy? <laughs> let's when I come back, let's get naked and get crazy. Rub species on the walls. And, and she's like, uh, I'll be here waiting. With the <laughs> yeah. slugs. Yes, you will be. <laughs> but there's little things, too. Like, so they, they, they hijack, like, the they take the fire truck or the water dispensing truck, whatever the hell it is, and they fill it up with lithium. Uh, oh, my God. <laughs> and he, How he, did they he ra- get that much fucking lithium? <laughs> and and uh, and Don, the British, British high school scientist, uh, drives it, races to the location at a steady 10 miles an hour. Yeah. Gets there. And then, so they show him, he takes a giant pickaxe out of the truck and then it proceeds to try to pry the, the, the uh, manhole cover off with the pickaxe, failing miserably. <laughs> and while he's doing this, they're downstairs and like, okay, there's this giant pool full of killer slugs. We can't get to the ladder because it's on the other side. And the guy says, I think I have a plan. I think I have an idea. And he finds this little hatch in the wall. And so he takes out the tool that you use to take the manhole covers off, <laughs> which he's carrying around with him. And he starts trying to open the door. So I think you two guys should have switched. <laughs> oh, my God. And then when he falls in, his friend climbs on the pipe above the water to try to get him. <laughs> he's like, oh, hey, hey, we could just use this to get to the ladder. Don't worry about that door. Hey, don't worry about it. <laughs> is it Philip? I think it's right. Uh, is it Philip? From know. Jaws 3. Oh, from Jaws. Oh, my God. Pull the pin! <laughs> it might be Philip. Philip! Pull the pin! Pull it! I like the shots of the of the body sinking in the water with the blood, though. I thought that was nice. Yeah, they did. They, yeah, not every scene was shit, but yeah, I mean, there were some nice shots. I thought. I mean, it, uh, um, a lot of gory uh, special effects too. Some decent head exploding and melting of faces, melting eyeballs. That one scene they show eyeballs. in the yeah, that one scene they show in the bedroom is probably the worst scene of the film. 
Um, the one that's in like the mixtapes. The one with the, the, yeah, with the, yeah, yeah, with the with black the, the black guy, plastic bags on the floor. The, yeah, the guy. Yeah, the guy and the chick. The one that was in a video Armageddon uh, video mixtape. Correct. Yeah, yeah, that that scene is probably like the worst scene of the entire film. I would say. Yeah, and they used it in the trailer. <laughs> <laughs> They also, thought, they thought you, it was so good. They used it in the trailer. It was just because the, she was like, per, she was naked, covered in slugs and blood, and they mm-hmm. th- there wasn't enough to show. Like she wasn't naked enough. Uh, right. She was covering up, so they used it. Yeah. You know, <laughs> sex cells. Uh, but yeah, the black plastic gives it away. Um, yeah. Also, if you pay close attention at the end when they do the ch- uh, the um, chud. Ex- sewer explosion to kill off the monsters and all the manhole covers blow off and yep. things are blowing up. Uh, two things. One, there's one, one of the manhole covers is conveniently left off the manhole when it explodes so it doesn't have to, you know, blow up. Right. And if, if you look really carefully, the greenhouse from beginning of the film is one of the explosions. Get out of here, really? The thing blew up twice. <laughs> We've got shots of an explosion. We're using it. Yeah. Well, when... When that scene happened, because you could always tell when they use a lot of their budget on something, you know, uh-huh. like in Street Trash, there's that one scene where like, yep, that's pretty much all their budget right there. Mm-hmm. Uh, in here, I kept thinking that it was the house explosion and the restaurant scene. I'm like, that's the whole budget right there. That's all of it. Well, I'm pretty sure the greenhouse explosion was a miniature, though. Um, there's a fair amount of miniature work in here. Know if it was, was it? Uh, maybe. Yeah, I, I, probably I, like I, a like a one. Uh, like yeah, a one I, I tenth, felt like it was a miniature. Yeah, one, one tenth, tenth something like scale, that. something like that. Yeah, okay, I, I could see that. I really, if you want, if you go back and watch that explosion, I, I really think that was a. I could be wrong, but no, I think no, it was no, a. Miniature. No, yeah. If you don't have a budget, then you're not going to go buy a barn. Mm-hmm. Even back in 1988, for say fifty thousand dollars to blow it up. And that wasn't a barn. That was a nice greenhouse. Yeah. On a pretty oh, greenhouse, yeah. And on a pretty decent house. Yeah. 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 You're not gonna and, just buy that to blow it up. Not for this yeah. fucking movie. So yeah, you're probably right. That probably was a miniature. And I swear, I, I you can't convince me otherwise. When they show the two old people that are supposed to be the girl's parents leave oh. bef- <laughs> before that scene, as like they're elderly. Those are old people. Those aren't like parents. Those are grandparents. Yeah. It's like she's and like what, in out. her early thirties and they're eighty. Yeah, and she's not. No, she's like a high school student. She's not in her early thirties. I mean, the actress might be. Oh, uh, okay. The yeah, no, okay. High school. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Yeah. Yeah. So they're, they're fucking old. She's but then later, way too young. So the next day, when when the chief, when uh, the uh, when our hero runs races to the house to, to piss off the chief of police, yeah. and he, and they show the the two paramedics carrying out a body. I swear it's the same old people. <laughs> <laughs> I think they made grandma and grandpa pull the bodies out. <laughs> you know, we, you know, if you're not paying for this, I'm not paying for this. Get a bag. <laughs> you can't convince me otherwise. I'm sorry. You're I'm probably, firmly dude, on dude with a budget this small, you're probably, everything you're saying is probably 100% true. <laughs> oh, oh, man. There's a chick on the boat in her underwear. Exactly. Still not important to the scene. It's, 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 you know why it's important? Because that's the first thing you said. It wasn't, oh, here's the fishing scene, or here's the scene yeah. where the guy falls in the water. Actually, like, oh, here's the girl with the her, with her uh, in her panties. That's why that's important. No, it wasn't the first thing I said. I didn't even mention it. You yelled at me for not mentioning it. No, you just mentioned it now when you said, here's the scene. Oh, because it's in the slideshow. Right. Because it's relevant and, now because it's on the screen. It's relevant because she's in her panties. Listen, I wasn't not going to put it in the slideshow. I'm not stupid. I know. But you, but you, you, you referenced it as I should use the girl this as, I should use this as the thumbnail. You didn't this say. I think you should. You didn't say. Oh, here's the boat scene, because there's only one boat scene in the film. You said here's the scene with the girl in their panties, because that's what's important. <laughs> I rest my case. Oh, stop. You keep resting it. Yes, I'm going. You know I will. Yes, I know. <laughs> I beg your pardon. Excuse me. Don't 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 start with me. Um, um, uh, this was a fun movie. I gotta say, I enjoyed it. it we, it's we, a it's we were, a it's a great bad movie. It's it, we were yelling at the film. Like, we were yelling at the screen the entire time, like not angrily, but like shouting. You know, it was like it was like an MST three K mo- film. Well, it, you really just can't help but like throw things out. When I watched the film, I immediately texted Scott and I said, "Listen, 
one of the most anticlimactic openings I've ever seen. And then I, I just mentioned it, it, dude, it is. I, I just think you really, what I, I, dude, there's no substance in that opening scene. It doesn't get you geared sets, for the film. It, it, does, it does, does not, it, totally it does, does not set up anything. You don't even know what's killing him. If you That's walked the into the movie blind, you wouldn't even know what it is. It's like, you would think it's a right shark after attack. They right after they show it they paint slugs in at the logo and you're like oh slugs killed him uh, i know that right, right it's you don't just show the monster off in the first scene so yeah because it's you know, did they show the shark in the first scene of jaws <sighs> totally anticlimactic different different movie why is it different Be it's different it's the exact same thing woman goes in the water you don't see what pulls her down but she gets pulled down then we see jaws oh Dude, it was you're comparing the opening of jaws to this Yes, the exact same opening. Where the, just the the ambient except, noise, except, we, except no nudity, in, except more nudity in uh, Jaws. The ambient noise in the opening of Jaws alone is creepy. Where, I'm not talking quality. I'm I'm saying what from what you're. I don't know the thing what you're, you're talking about. Everything you're complaining about in the opening of Slugs is exact. I can say the exact same thing about the opening of Jaws, and it would be exactly accurate. No, it wouldn't. Yes, just yes, her would. getting it, thrown around in the water. Just trying to speak, and then you the don't water see cutting off it. her voice. They don't, show, they don't show the shark. We don't know what's in there. It could be anything. Totally anticlimactic. That's a much better delivery in Jaws. I, I'm not saying that that's not true. I'm just saying <laughs> your argument is invalid the way you're making it. That's uh, what I'm saying. I don't, I don't think so. I, I know you don't. That's that's why that's why it's funny. <laughs> anyway. So anyway. I, te I, te I anyway take another shot. I, I texted Scott and I said, "How is this film not? Or how was this not ever shown in one of our outdoor or indoor bad movie days?" How we have did, hard how, time how? getting people to come. Yeah right. <laughs> oh, here's the slug biting the finger. <laughs> oh, oh, I love that. Oh, uh, that's it, it, it's. It, I, I would put that as the as the, the thumbnail for the. Uh, yeah. I could do yeah, that. The, the 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 slug with the teeth, but that's that's that that's fucking it right there. <laughs> yeah, I don't think uh, anyone else is using that uh, on YouTube to try and get uh, clicks. All right, if you're looking for clicks, put the girl in the underwear. I understand. No, no, I'll use that one. No, no, I'm 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 not arguing. I'm cool with either. We're just gonna get people saying, "Hey, shut up and play the movie." Dude, suck my taint. I'm not. I'm not fucking. I'm not even. I'm not even. Uh, well, um, you know, it's funny. Not anyone. Not anyone else is using the girl in her panties either. Oh, all right. <laughs> That's a great. <laughs> they got a. They have a shot of the 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 slug on IMDb. He's like, <laughs> 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 That's so great. Yeah, the, the number like the number one uh, picture that I see them using over and over and over is. Um, I see the picture of the guy drinking the wine. I see uh, the picture of the girl reaching out, you know, the, all covered in slugs and blood. Mm -hmm. Those are kind of the most common ones. And, uh, yeah. So we have our, our pick. All right. I could use a girl in the underwear. If I find a clear enough picture, I'll use a girl in the underwear. Otherwise, it's not worth it. Yeah, I agree. I got I agree a super, totally. super clear picture of the slug trying to bite that guy's finger, though. Yeah, quality over quality over substance, definitely. <laughs> it's on the screen again. <laughs> it's a fake finger too, which is weird. <laughs> well, they had to do it to scale. They had to probably to make a bigger. It's it's got to be a big dummy to you know. It's like <laughs> it makes perfect sense. To yeah, me. actually, you're right. It's probably the size of a fucking dog. The, yeah, the, the, that <laughs> that fake squirrel, uh, fake squirrel, that fake um, slug. And you know what? They don't show. And no, there's two dogs in the film. Neither dog's killed. No dead, no dead dogs. Yeah, you just kind of hear something happening. No, no, no. The two scenes with dogs, they both walk. They're both away. They, they don't. They, they don't even imply that the dogs are injured. I thought there was the one shot of uh, the like the shed or greenhouse, and you just hear the dog whimpering. No, the the whimpering one was the first scene with the uh, with the um, the uh, the uh, condemned the, house. Yeah, and you see him the next day. The dog on the on the on the. Yeah, no, the, I know that. I'm talking with about the second one. I mean, it, when, when you first see the guy, he's got a, he's got the dog attached to like uh, thirty feet of rope. I don't want to know why. I don't want to know why that guy's got thirty feet of rope on the dog. 
Um, but then he just he just like throws it away. But the next day, the dog's got a leash tied to the fence. So I don't know, maybe maybe uh, animal uh, repair. Whatever. And then then the cabbage house uh, yeah. when the slugs attack the cabbage house, and then the cabbage farmer's chest explodes. They show the dog. He, he's like barking or whining, but then he runs away from that um, oh, okay. barn. He doesn't go into the barn. Actually, oh, believe I, me, uh, I'm watching for dead dogs. I, I I have to admit, I fell asleep about four times trying to watch this. How could you fall asleep during this? This film is fucking I, awesome. Listen, I, I I watched it really late at night, and I just kept falling asleep and then rewinding it. And when I woke up, rewinding it back to the part I remember seeing, and then I'd watch it, and then I'd fall asleep, wake up, rewind it, fall asleep, wake up, rewind it. Unacceptable. Well, well, my challenge to you will keep you awake. I promise you. Oh, good. Yeah, I can't guarantee that. Actually. Honestly, I can't. Um, what do you want to rate slugs? Well, on it's, it's currently a five out of ten. Yeah. And uh, I'm okay with a five. Oh no 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 no. You want to go four? No. I know. I don't know if the film deserves. Well, you well, know what? You know I actually what? enjoyed I mean, the film. Five is I, average. I five is average. The dialogue is actually the dialogue is enough to drop it to a four. No, I, I I honestly think the dialogue actually makes it more fun. Well, it's it's tons of fun because it's so <laughs> bad. But honestly, I would say like Piranha is a, a worse movie than this. <sighs> I haven't seen Piranha in a really long time, but yeah. I, I you know I there is some production value to this film, low budget production value. Yeah. But you know he, he knows what he's doing. It's it's not like they don't know how to record sound. They don't don't know how to frame a scene. It's just, it's just goofy shit. That's all. But I'll tell you what, you know, when I challenged this to you, I was going back and forth. Night of the Creeps, Slugs. Night of the Creeps, Slugs. No, you made and, the right choice. And and I, I went with Slugs because I knew it was going to be more fun. Oh, uh, definitely. Because Night of the Creeps would just be, yeah, it's one of my favorite 80s horror movies. Next. Whereas with this, it's like, oh my God, the dialogue's bad. The, just the, the concept is terrible. <laughs> Well, again, it's 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 Chud. It's man eating slugs. Uh, and I gotta so see. What, so, what are you thinking? If not a five? Uh, no, I went with five. You I agree with, with five? you. Five. Okay. Yeah. What what co- what copy of this do you have? You have a you have the seven twenty copy. I have Blu Ray. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Do you I, not have, I, Do you not have Blu Ray or you have DVD? I, I don't. I did, I watched your copy. I didn't have a copy, but oh. I'm, I'm I'm getting one. So, I'm okay with a seven twenty copy. Oh yeah. I can't see. I'm not going 1080 for this. No. Um, now, so not many so, things don't go 1080. Oh, 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 and how can I? How can I almost forget to mention the fucking music in this film? Yeah, it's like who did they get to compose this? They were trying to go so <laughs> grand. I turned to Holly in the, in the in the first like 15 minutes of the film when the when the sheriff's driving the uh, sanitation guy to the condemned house. It's like, why are they playing the thing from Dynasty? They're just driving to an like a condemned house. Like, bum, 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 <laughs> the fuck's going on? There's like two or three parts in this film where it's just like, dun, 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 They're driving. <laughs> he's, he's driving to his house. That's all. They're not racing this. It, stop. Stop. Calm down. It's like, uh, listen, we don't have a lot of uh, money for music. What do you got? Well, we got, we got this. We got this and... So, well, it was an orchestra. It was an orchestra yeah. in the credits. Yeah. yeah I don't like, know if it was... I'm assuming it was a, like they actually recorded the music for the film and not and not just maybe, like hand uh, music. I mean, when it... During the end credits, what does it say for, for music? What, what it, are the it, credits for music? Well, in the opening, in the opening of this film, they, they it says... Uh, it gives a name like the uh, uh, Harmonic Symphony or something. Oh, that's right. It was. Uh, yeah. Was it? It wasn't the Philharmonic, but it was. No, not the Phil. A, a harmonic. Yeah, well, no, I think it was one of the more well-known ones. I was like, really? They got the. You're, you're right. That's right. Yeah. And Holly pointed out to me. She's like, oh, look, they got. They got actually have a. They had a real harmonic orchestra. symphony doing. Yeah. It. I was like, holy shit. That must have been a favor that was called in. There's no way they they had the budget for that. What? No, I mean, well, come on. Listen, to be fair, this guy had his own production company in Spain. He's cranking movies out. Uh, so they probably had uh, a, a sim- What else do symphonies do except like play graduations and the and like uh, like New Year's events at museums? What the fuck do they do? Is it? Hey, they, they gotta talk- rent themselves. What are you talk- Dude, there's so many people you just insulted right now. What? 
who am I insulting? What, what? It's not. It's not a nightly thing. People always say, "Oh, what are you going to do tonight? Let's want to go see Symphony." Yeah, no, it's not that big of a thing. It can't <laughs> be. If if you if you play professionally for for a, a symphony for an orchestra, you think how, the Philharmonic is is doing birthday parties? All right, we're, we're again. We're not talking. I'm not saying the Philharmonic. I'm saying an orchestra. If you're in an orchestra, that's not the Philharmonic. All right, but this it was a harmonic. I remember reading it. Yeah, it, but it's not. That it the, was a not. No, it was a. It was a recognizable harmonic how, symphony. Honestly, how many gigs does an orchestra get outside of doing film sound uh, soundtracks? Uh, I don't know. I'm not in that business. It so. can't. It can't pay enough that the only. You are work also like, not in that business, so neither of us should be arguing this point. I I am arguing it based on logic. <laughs> When was the last time you saw t- tickets advertised for a, a Philharmonic? What do you, it's, dude, I, I get shit in the mail all the time. You're just like, like right, right with the uh, with the, the garage Jersey door openers, the window things. So like, the it, it performs. They have a whole schedule, a yearly schedule of the, what they perform. The, right, that's the New Jersey Philharmonic. We're talking about another harmonic, just like a, an orchestra. That's not the I, I, dude. I don't. I think that's how it works. <laughs> it's got to be how it works. Yeah, I think so. You're, you're making it sound like people just in their spare time. It's just, yeah, let's just hang out and play, you know, some wind instruments. No, I'm saying it the other way around. If it's a full-time job for you, you don't just wait for the occasional, oh, we're playing at this uh, banquet, this, this uh, wherever they play, fucking at music halls. And, and I'm saying that's not who they hired to do this movie. I'm saying that there's the lesser orchestras have to, they do, this is what they do. This is their job. They do film stuff. They do it all the time. So okay, let, yeah, the, the composer composes something. It takes right. them a couple hours. We we'll say, yeah, 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 I, yeah, I know the drill. That's why. That's why the music's totally inappropriate for the film. <laughs> he doesn't care. It's like, yeah, but up, but but da da. Doors closed. All right, fine. Next scene. <laughs> I don't give a shit. Uh, all right. So we rated it a five. Yeah. You have a challenge for me. Of course, I do. Can I have some hints, or can you? Uh, can I try and guess this? I struggled. I struggled with this one because uh, well, let this. Me ask. Um, Did you go horror film? Did it ended up that uh, ended up going that way? I'm gonna I'm gonna continue talking the direction I was saying, and then we'll circle back. So it was a hard choice. So what because... are you saying? Are you saying? <laughs> oh, you're killing me! <laughs> Fucking killing me! I did that on purpose. I know you did. Uh, because the director. You deserved it. Why do I deserve it? Because I was just simply trying to interject. You're you're interjecting as I start my my spiel. I got a spiel, and I'm going into it. You're like, well, wait, wait, wait. Is it a horror film? That's not what I'm trying to do. That's not my tack. That's not my section. Right. That's not how I'm going. I, I am all ears. The <clears throat> the director, J. P. Simon. Okay. Uh, his anglicized name um, <clears throat> has his own production company. Does a lot of horror films. Uh, could have easily picked one of his. One of them I know for a fact is on my Plex called Pieces. Oh, I don't and have I, that. And I was like, oh, you know, I could do that. It's a chainsaw horror film. It's, it's like the same director. It'd be kind of interesting. We usually don't do directors. It's like, ah, I don't know. Um, maybe I'll go something I, I know I've got. There's something in there. So I thought I'd go more theme. Uh, theme. So, yeah. So I figured the theme would be killer insects, which is a category in my Plex, by the way. Killer insects. So I want to go with another killer insect film because this is a killer insect film. It's not one of my uh, more well-known genres, so I'm I'm not going to be able to guess this. Well, like I, I hate to admit this, but films like you know Arachnophobia are the like the first thing that comes to mind, and there are so many other insect movies. It's just. It's not one of the. It, that's a genre that I never really got into All right. uh, as far as horror goes. Well, let me narrow it down for you. It's not another film about slugs. Okay. We didn't didn't go that way, and it's not Squirm. Okay. And I'll, and I'll even go wider. I'll say that the, the, your challenge does not involve worms of, of any kind. Yeah. I'm, I well, the first thing I thought of was more like bugs. You know. All right. Beetles, spiders, things. It of is that not nature. a spider. It is not a spider film. It is not killer spiders. Not a spider. And that's like half the genre right there. 
That's actually its own subgenres, but so killer spiders. It's like uh, flying bugs, I, I I would imagine. Uh, it's not the bees. There are no bees. No bees, okay. No bees. Can I get an actor? Anybody famous? No, can't get an actor. No. I, Is that would I, that give it away? No. No. Um let me let me see. I don't know. There might be an actor I can give you. Let me take a look. Let's have a let's have a look. And and everything's just fucking frozen. Uh, okay. Oh no, here it is. Uh, bah, 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 bah. Let me see. Oh no, yeah, there's nobody. 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 Now this is also this one is also based on a novel. Okay. Um. Hmm. Yeah. No. There's no 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 actor names I think that you would recognize. Nope. Not a not a real uh, not a genre I'm really familiar with. So. I I just I can't even think of any uh, movie titles. Now what what year did um what year did uh Slug Slug come out in? Eighty eight. This film also came out in eighty eight. Really? Yes. Was this? I'm quite happy. I'm this... quite happy with the multiple parallels to to uh, Slug <laughs> to, to the year. Ja- so yes. uh, obviously it was released theatrically. Um, yes, it was. Let me double check that. I'm almost positive it was more of a larger budget. On that, or also low? Ooh, I don't know, but yeah, it was released in the USA May 13th. May 13th? Uh, yeah. And then I had a video pre- Yeah, it was it was theatrical premiere. May 13th. Yeah. Um... Now, I, I will tell you that um, in, in Brazil, it's known as Nino do Terror. Nino in, Spain, do terror. It's, it's, in Spain, it's known as El Nido, or Nido Subterraneo. France is called Voyage au, au Bot de la Horre, which I, I don't know what the fuck that's about. Hung, uh, hung, Hungary a Fezic, which... Uh, Hungary Fezic? No, a Fezic. In, Hungar- in Hungary, oh, oh, it's, oh. Called, it's called a Fezic. None of that gives it away. Uh, hmm. and it's got one of my favorite movie posters of killer insect films of all time. I used to have it on my wall. I actually, I used to have this poster on my wall. This is a classic '80s killer insect film. I don't know. Give it to me. <sighs> the Nest. Oh, The Nest. Yes. I haven't seen. I don't think I've ever seen that. I've only killer, ever. I've only killer, ever seen uh, little bits and pieces. It's killer mutant cockroaches. The Nest, 1988. There it is. Yes. Oh, yeah. This is a fucking cockroach on top of a half-naked lady. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you had this on your wall. I'm not surprised. I had that, I had that on my wall. That's a surprised. great fucking poster. Yeah. Full size. Got it from the video store. So I want that. Oh, you, yeah. know, you know what's funny? When I was doing... Yeah, okay. I was doing homework for... For this film on IMDb, and one of the posters that came up was, uh, like, when you look up slugs at the bottom, it always has, like, other, yeah, you know, other ones, like, Ticks is one, Mosquito for this, mm. um, the Slayer, but when you do yeah. slugs, one of the posters down below is this film, The Nest. Yeah, I don't, I don't think I've ever seen Mosquito. Uh, I, there, there was a Wasp film that just came out, and there's actually a Mosquito film that just came out recently, but this one from 94 I've never seen. <clears> hmm. <throat> hmm. Yeah, what else is uh, so? There's the nest. When you look up slugs at the bottom, the recommendations are the nest. Hmm. Evil Ed. Probably the, based on actors. The you know, mutilator. Hmm. Pieces. Because I'm assuming it's the same author. Uh, director. The same director. Oh, same. I'm uh, sorry. And, I'm sorry. You're right. Same yeah, director. And and um and and that was um, out of all of his other films, that's the only other one I recognized of his. Oh. Uh, I have it. I know I have it. Squirm. No. And some, something called Slugs from 2004. Obviously, it's recommended because the name is the same. That's it. That's a good guess, yeah. Yeah. I do like the poster for the film Slugs, though. Yeah, it's, it's kind of cool. It's got some pretty good ones. And certain uh, countries had that poster uh, vertically like that, but some of them had them horizontally. Which is just as creepy. That's the one with the skull and the skulls yeah, coming out of the, the skull. The, yeah, the, the spine and the, there's the face on the yep, front, but the back's yep. the skull. Some of them have that poster sideways, horizontally. Ooh, it's equally um, as creepy. 
Um, I, I'm I'm not sure I'm happy with the DVD cover of the Nest because they have underneath they have they they have the original movie poster picture, but then underneath they have she's just an appetizer. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if that's necessary. I don't think I care for that. Yeah, is there peanut butter involved? But she, that's actually on the movie poster too. So, uh, or that's the VHS. I don't have the actual movie poster, but that's on the VHS. Uh, yeah, I don't care for that. I like the picture, but I think the picture. I think the picture s- says everything. I don't think you need taglines on that. No. Yeah. No. And that scene never happens in the film either. As uh, most don't. The cover yeah. of Slugs. Thankfully. It it happens. Just that slugs are in that guy's head, but it doesn't happen exactly the way you see it on the cover. Well, yeah, I, I think with slugs, it's more of a, a artistic representation, which I think most movie posters should be. It, at least it's not just you know the the actor's faces floating. <laughs> it's part of his spine is still intact. Yeah. <sighs> <sighs> oh, by the way, I finally saw uh, Jurassic World, uh, um, the new one. And I haven't seen eh. it yet. Eh. Better than. Eh. Okay, that's Fallen Kingdom. Yeah, Fallen Kingdom. How yeah. much is Jeff Goldblum in that? Uh, he, just at the hearing, he's like like maybe two minutes. Oh, really? That's it. Yeah, that's it. Uh, they use that a lot of that in the trailer. You know, it's and for good it's, reason. It probably put asses in seats. It's it's entertaining, sure, but it's basically the same plot as the last one. You know. Oh God! At least like the whole thing of like. Oh, we're gonna save the animals. Oh, we got double cross. Someone wants to sell them for something. Oh no, those evil rich people. Which I'm not saying rich people aren't evil, <laughs> but you know it's a tired. Uh, you know what? When uh, you're guaranteed to make a billion dollars, does it really matter? Uh, that's why I'm. That's why, that's why I said eh. It's just eh. They'll get like two or there. three of those out before people are like. Hey. I didn't want to see it. My wife wanted to see it again. I was like, all right, fine, I'll watch it. Again? I, she, she went I, to the theater to see that? She went to the theater, yeah. Her and my daughter, they were dying to go see it, yeah. spent money on that, huh? Oh, yeah, they, they they went to have fun, and they had fun. Shut up. What, hey. <laughs> if, I'm sorry if... <laughs> I hey. wanted to watch Skyscraper. <laughs> I wanted to watch The Rock climb a, a, build, a flaming building well, with I only one was, leg. Oh, they spend money on that, and you get defensive. What's, what's up with that? Because they they wanted to spend money on that. That's I don't. That's jeez. Let them go. I didn't complain when they said they were Did going. I, say I didn't. They couldn't go. Well, I'm I, saying, but you, but, you, you, but you say like when they told me they were going to go see that. That I was like, oh, you're going to spend. I was like, have fun. Because I know the shit I pay to see, and I'm not. You're the one that brought it up and was like, yeah, it's a what? Right. Yeah. I, I said, eh. It was yeah. eh. I was like, it's it just it's there. It's 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 like your typical big blockbuster. He says, "Oh yeah, CGI dinosaurs, uh, newest heartthrob, uh, stupid plot, uh, humorous scenes, kind of fun." Sit here and defend any movie I see and say, "You know that was money well spent." I was just, I'm not. Just saying, I'm not. You know, if they, listen, if they went to go see uh, Battle Angel Alita, I would say, "Huh, oh, you spent money on that, huh?" I would say <laughs> the same thing. There's no. There's a huge difference between Battle Angel Alita and fallen is Jurassic there? World. Is yes, there? there is. Yes. Because the dinosaurs don't have big fucking eyes. Dude, that is the stupidest. We we've mentioned this on the show. Who, <laughs> who I don't know, oh, man. Whoever decided to make that decision to say, "Okay, we're going forward with it. We're going to spend this much extra Here's the problem. On CGI to get it done should have been fired on the spot." Here's the problem. Every time they make an American version of a Japanese animated feature, uh oh, bitch and complain because since bandwidth. it's made for what your bandwidth just like what? froze up. You're How good now? now. You're good now. You're good. All now. right, mm, it's a glitch. Every time they make one of these uh, Japanese animated films to an American film, right. obviously because it's for an American audience, they put white people in there. Yeah. Instead of Japanese yeah, people, because if major mainstream audiences were going to watch Japanese films with Japanese characters, they they wouldn't have to remake them as American films. All right. And crazy rich Asian Asians doesn't fucking count. 
I, I still okay. don't get why that's so successful. But. I, you know, I'm not even. I'll, who, yeah, whatever. Enjoy it. Uh, but there's speculation, but, be, and I think it's true because the original trailer that I saw for Battle Angel, her eyes were fucking gigantic, like the size right. of eggs. Yeah. yeah, it just ridiculous. The last trailer that they showed, her eyes look probably one third the size of that. Mm. So I have a feeling that they made them smaller. Well, it, it's but what all I'm saying is that like they're desperately trying to figure out how to make it make these like the originals, but at the same time, anglicizing them for your your mainstream American audience that doesn't want to watch Asian films because one they don't want to read subtitles and two they want somebody they they they're not into Asian actors. And, All right, and, and this is the main. We're talking main. We're talking about you know Trump voters. We're talking about mainstream America. They they buy movie tickets too. They need to make money, so they're they're going to do this stuff. Did you see? And, did you see Ghost in the Shell? Did you see that one yet? No, that's uh, that's another one. Oh yeah, they, how come they got a white actress in there? So it's because they wanted to. I you know what? It. When when they when they remake American films in foreign countries, they don't put American actors in them, and they fucking shouldn't. Because that's why they're remaking them. Yeah, no, I agree with that totally. Uh, I, I I liked Ghost in the Shell, and you know what? There were plenty of Jap- Japanese actors in the film. But the lead, the lead is not Japanese, right? And, and you know and what? That's fine. Who, it's and, fine. Oh, it, I just, I'm like right on the fence with the whole thing. Yeah, I agree. You know, white gold. I'm with you. <laughs> on the other hand. Don't bitch every time that, that they don't use a non-white actor for a role. Make your own films. And, and they did. They, they're, they starting like, to do that. they're starting to do that now. Good. I mean, well, I mean, besides Tyler Perry. I mean, wow. get like like r- r- Crazy Rich Asians. It's like, hey, it's great. Now the, now the new director of the next J- Bane James Bond film is uh, Asian. Or I think, I'm not sure if he's Asian well, they're or... they're talking about getting Eldris Elba to play James Bond. At least it's an internet rumor, which probably caught fire and is not true at all. It's but not. Daniel Daniel Craig's going to be in James Bond 26. He's going to be in the next one? Or 25, sorry. It's 25. Okay. Um, yeah. Uh, I mean, if, that's fine. And it's... Uh, the, I forget what he directed before, but it's uh, a Japanese or Asian or Chinese. I don't know. I forget the nationality because I'm a stupid white man. But Stupid you know, and everybody's making a big deal out of it. It's like, oh, great. You know, if, if that's what's important to you, great. What's important to me is how the film looks and how it's written. That's all I care about, because uh, I'm shallow when it comes to my entertainment. I, I want it. I want what I want. I don't care who. And that's why I watch foreign films too, because they have if they have what I need. I'll go there. Did I'm you not see? Gonna... Um, no, I, I I I agree with you. Did you see that they're uh, they're making uh, Jonathan Statham and uh, The Rock? In the Fast and Furious films, they're getting their own movie. I don't. I, whatever. I, I'm, I'm, I'm in. As long as, as long as they're like doing stupid shit with cars, I'm in. I, so I, I hope they're they have giving like them a, their own film. And the tagline or the synopsis is like an unlikely friendship between blah 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 and blah blah blah. It, it, it sparks uh, this new film. As a matter of fact. Um, the name of the movie is their last names or whatever their names are, though. Uh, uh, I don't even know. Uh, you know what? And that's why I didn't argue against like the lost, the newest Lost World. I watched it. And I enjoyed some parts of it. It's cliche. It's predictable. Great, whatever. It's entertaining. It's flashy. That's all that matters. It's like with the, you know, how can you get pissed off because they're making like it's like it's like all the people that bitch about um uh, uh what's his name um what? big explosions. Oh, uh, Michael Bay. Michael Bay, thank you. Everybody's like, oh, Michael Bay, I like this explosion. Yeah, and he does not fucking great. <laughs> Shut your fucking hole. And, you know, it's, it's, it's weird. It's, it's, people with no film background get so fucking snobbish. Like, the, most of the people that bitch about Michael Bay probably, don't, probably hate subtitles, probably haven't, you know, watched, you know, it's just like, don't even watch the Oscars, which, you know, I wish I didn't. But it's like these people that bitch about this stuff said, so, dude, you take the good with the bad. Just fucking just enjoy it. Yeah, agree. You know, okay, you know t- save it all up for when the next Avatar comes out. Then you can tear into the piece of shit. <laughs> oh. Let's see. What's it called? It is called Hobbs and Shaw. Hmm. And they're actually filming it. I believe it. Hey, if the, rock's, if the Rock's in it or Vin Diesel's in it, I'll see it. 
Dude, I don't the, care. The Rock, he's making like four movies a year at this point. As he should. He's, yeah. He is the new Schwarzenegger, possibly way more successful than Schwarzenegger ever was. Hey, I, Statham's making twice as many movies, too, because he makes the foreign ones, he makes the low-budget ones. Yeah. Fucking, fucking, I'm surprised he wasn't in the Transporter TV show. They probably yeah, couldn't right. afford him. Uh, I think, yeah, because all of a sudden he became big. So... And, in 2018, he he's got Rampage and Skyscraper this year. I, I told you, I I enjoyed Rampage and I want to see Skyscraper. In 2017, he did the the Fate of the Furious, Baywatch, um, Jumanji. Oh and yeah, yeah. He, and he um, lent his voice for the uh, WWE 2K18 video game. Mm-hmm. And it, he was in a TV show. Uh, an episode called Lifeline. That was all in 2017. Yeah. In 2019, Isn't... now, this could change, but 2019, he has slated Fighting With My Family, it's a comedy, Jungle Cruise, Hobbs and Shaw, and the Jumanji sequel. Oh, another one. Oh. Yeah, it made $400 million. So, yeah. Hmm. That is now considered a franchise. Why not? I, I was I was surprised as anybody that it made it, that much money. It made four hundred million dollars. Hey, you know what? I actually enjoyed it, and I even like Jack Black in it. Yeah. <laughs> Go fucking figure. Yeah. Apparently, apparently, he when he's playing a teenage girl, I'm into it. I'm in it. <laughs> You're into it, huh? Yeah. I. Uh, you know, probably oh. probably the. Probably the only film I'd ever accept Jack Black screaming, come look at my penis, as a good thing. I have a side challenge for you. $404 million domestically. It was Five, fun. $557 million foreign for a total of $962 million, almost a billion yeah. dollars. Spe- speaking of like films, yeah, uh, I have a side challenge for you. I'm in. The Oops. film Hereditary. Oh, uh, dude, I've been meaning to watch that all fucking week. Probably Me too. gonna watch it this weekend. Me too, because I have two coworkers, both female. One of them who is the exact opposite of of me on every film that ever comes up in discussion. Okay. Uh, loved Avatar, loved Fifth Element, that Ooh, kind of deal. Gotcha. Yeah. Um, it's too bad. When when Hereditary came up, she said, and I quote. Oh, that was a stupid. That was a stupid ass movie, and I hated it. So I was like, "Oh, I gotta see it now." And the other female coworker said that she liked the film, but she would like me to explain the ending after I see it. Okay. So now I've got to see it. So she just won't look on the internet to have other people explain it. I, she she probably isn't doesn't isn't that concerned about it. Okay. I you know she probably just saw the movie and like that's the end of it. So. Most people don't do that, Joey. Most people aren't like you and I, where they watch a film and say, hmm, now I need to read 15 reviews on it and see the different takes of the ending. Most people don't do that <laughs> I shit. I do that all, every time. I, well, that, well, because that I'll one, watch a film and, like, say, the ending Hereditary, and I'll, I'll have an idea or I'll know, and I'll be like, you know what? I wonder what other people are saying if they think the way I'm thinking. And then, like you said, I'll well, read, like, 10 or 15 different things. I did that with Incident in a Ghost Land because... I predicted the twist, so right. to speak. That, have you seen it yet? No. I predicted the twist, but I was like, I, thinking back on it again, I was like, I wonder if I'm reading the ending the way I was supposed to, or I wonder if there's a different way to read that. And I can't find anybody online thinks the, the only place I would have found it would be IMDb message boards. But thanks for taking that shit off the air just because some people are racist. Uh, <laughs> I, I did searches for all these reviews and nobody brings up my thoughts on the ending. So I want to see, I want to talk about it with you. I have to watch it chance. now. What's the name of the yes, film? I'm going to write it down so I don't forget. It's Incident in a Ghost Land, but a lot of places just have it as Ghost Land. Ghost Land, okay. And it's one word, Ghost Land. And it's not that film from the 80s that was based on a comic book, um, which I think was Ghost World anyway, so never mind. That's the one with uh, Ricky Gervais. Oh, no, no, the Ghost World, that's the one with uh, Scarlett Johansson and the girl from American Beauty. Ghost World. Right? I don't know. It's based on a shitty comic book. Oh, yeah, that's the one, yeah. 
Um, but no, Ghostland. Uh, so Incident in Ghostland or Ghostland. If it's Ghost World, yeah, I think that's it. Um, <clears throat> but that's one that yeah. you and I need to get into. Thor Burke. Because we may even like do a short episode on that one, because that there's some stuff to talk about on that one. Yeah, I, I definitely... Um, you know, if we if we can watch these over the weekend, I would love to spend 10 or 15 minutes discussing both of them on next show before or after we, we tackle the nest. All right. All right. I'm, I'm for it. Totally. Okay. All right. But 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 we, let's not get too ahead of ourselves. First, we have to end this show. We got to end this one. Because if we don't end this one, we're never going to make it to the next one. That's you speak the truth, brother. I, I know. All right, everybody. Uh, thanks for joining us. Episode 282 of Movie Subtastic. Oh, Jesus. Uh, I know. We're getting up there. Episode 300 should be around Christmas if we don't take any breaks. Otherwise, it'll realistically be in January. Mm -hmm. It'll probably be right around when we start doing Oscar it, it, reviews. It, 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 it depends what they do with the fucking Oscars, but I can't even talk about it. I think this year right is going to be business as usual. Next year will be all fucked up. I, I, yeah, we'll, we'll see. So... Uh, anyway, so uh, please go to our website at MoviesFantastic.com. You can download the show there. You can listen to the show there. You can tune in live every Thursday at 8 o'clock and hang out with us while we review some shitty movie that maybe you even recommended at one point. Mm -hmm. You can go to our Facebook page at Facebook.com slash MoviesFantastic. You can go there to see when we go live to trailers, reviews of other movies, shit that just fancies us goes on our Facebook page. You go to our Tumblr page that Scott takes care of. It's moviesucktastic.tumblr.com. Stuff that fancies us. Stuff that fancies us, sir. All right, I'll allow it. Fucking A right, you're going to allow it. You can leave us email. The address is themovieguys at moviesucktastic.com. You leave us an email, and we like it. Even if we don't like it, just leave us something, for Christ's sakes. Jesus Christ, why do we have this stuff? We get that the show might be a disposable show for a lot of people. If you listen, you just move on to the next. But, come on. We'd love to hear from you. Email us. You can also leave us voicemail if you're a younger generation where you don't like talking to people, but you just like to text or leave a voicemail. The number is 908-514-4470. That's 908-514-4470. We'll play that shit on the show guaranteed and uh, you can go and you can download the free 100% free Android app for your phone for movies fantastic everything I said is in there and uh, again 100% free highly recommend you do that and uh, that's about it do you have any words of wisdom Mr. Wilson you don't have the authority to declare a happy birthday <laughs> alright alright everybody I'm smoke this damn cigarette that's right. You could, you, could just, you could destroy your lungs, but you can't do mine. I, you cannot smoke in this field. All right, everybody. We'll talk to you next week. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.